reason why we were locked out, it has nothing to do with two sides not being able to come to an agreement. Uh, the lockout was a deliberate, and it was deliberate, it was planned years in advance, and the reason is is because the company's trying to position itself for consolidation in the industry. It's not like selling a car or a business. In this industry, the utility companies are, they come together, they consolidate. But because we live in the most expensive part of the country, in order to consolidate, they basically have to re lower their expenses to make it more attractive. So that's why they're taking away and want to reduce our compensation and our benefits. And so when they realized what they had to do, to, they realized that the, it would be non-negotiable for the union. So the plan was to lock us out. But meanwhile, they had to make it look like they were bargaining. That's something called surface bargaining. It's a ploy that was used to pretend like they're bargaining. Let the contract run out. Wait. When the contract ran out, it was deliberate to just lock us out. The first time in Con Edison history we were locked out. And that was to throw the union off balance. It was to make us think that they mean business. Because really they want to strip away all our benefits. Like so what do you see as the possible progress of the talks then? You think it's a pure sham? I call the business agents every day and the company continues to be superficial. They're talking about meal allowances and things like that, which are very small items, when they should be talking about pensions and other things. The company will release the information that they gave uh, the union, union a 10% generous raise over four years, but they won't tell you that they're taking it back twofold in a form of increased medical contributions. So it's, it's, it's all bull. And the worst part of it is, the worst part of it is they got Mario, uh, Andrew Cuomo to go on board with them. Michael Del Guid is, is on the board of directors at this company, and he's the top advisor to Cuomo, and so an accommodation was made. That's why you haven't heard anything from Andrew Cuomo. Last time, the company tried to do the same thing four years ago, and Governor Patterson came in and stopped it. He stopped it dead and forced the company to negotiate. For that, I'll always be thankful for it. But this time, you haven't heard a thing, nothing from Albany, and it's, he's on board with it. What is the future for these 8,500 8, people who were locked out? The future does not look good unless we get more political pressure. We need to come beyond. Right. Finally, Christine Quinn has come on board, which she didn't at first. We need the mayor to come out, because he's been sold out too. We need the Governor Cuomo to come out. We need Schumer to come out. We need all the politicians to come out. And then what's going to happen is, and I guarantee you this, the company will agree to many of our terms, but they'll agree as long as it's a two-year contract and not a four. Um, when we were locked out, the company also got rid of our uh, medical benefits immediately. Any other company you work for that has medical benefits, even if you're fired, you're given at least 30 days so that COBRA will come, uh, you can go to COBRA. Not here. They wanted to maximize the sting. And so locking us out, cutting away our benefits, and that's what it is. So 8,500 workers, two-thirds of the company. That's, that's incredible that they would actually do this. Resuming talks this afternoon at 3 o'clock, right? That's correct. They are resuming talks. So how much longer do you think it'll go on? I don't know. Uh, my honest opinion is, is that they need the big guns to come out. The big politicians have to come out against it, and that will force the company to make uh, concessions. And, I, and I'm sure those concessions will be temporary, in the sense that they're not going to go for a four-year contract again. They'll probably go for a two-year contract. But that's better than nothing. We've got to get our people back to work.